guys, Mr. G back here with some cross out and we are once again talking about how to make some coins in this game. So, um, I've done the fuel, we've talked about crafting, which to be honest doesn't make you a ton of cash. Um, we're going to talk about trading today, playing the market here. So you're going to see, uh, these are my current trades that I've got right now. I'm trying to buy a cosmetic item here. For three fifty nine, another Jaws here for ninety nine. Actually, got to come selling one of these here as well. No, I'm purchasing one for eighty. I'm selling one for ninety nine. And right there, you can see what we're going to be talking about: the margin. We're going to use cross out DB. We're going to talk about that. So you're looking here. I'm making nineteen coins on this. Take away tax from that. It's not quite nineteen, but it's going to be about what ten. Um, this I crafted. Now, number one tip. Never buy instantly or sell instantly. Always hit the trade button. Um, and then this is probably the one of the most popular trades is a calendar fragment. You can buy these things for 0 0.02. You can sell them for 0 0.08. And it's just quick. That one happens a lot. You're not making a lot. You're making maybe a coin or two. Now this thing, the Bloodsucker, I just picked this thing up for like 269 and we're going to sell it for 359 so you can see trades are happening right there. There it is on the screen. Um, we're going to make a fair pile of cash when we can unload this thing. It might take a little bit of time. We're going to jump out of cross out for a second. We're going to go to cross out uh, DB here. So this is a nice little website. You can search by rarity, weapons, whatever. Or you can just search by uh, a margin or popularity. So we can use the least popular trades here, scrap metal. Or some of the most popular trades and you're going to notice we're looking at cosmetic items um chrome oh i have chrome i enjoy chrome I sell this for nine thousand are you kidding me i'm gonna go sell that right now <laughs> um so look we're looking for things with a high margin and a fair amount of sell orders right if we've got tons of buy orders and very few sell orders it probably isn't going to move super quick so we're looking for the difference between the price we can buy it and the price we can sell it and that's going to give us our margin here so these are some of the most popular ones you're going to see calendar fragment here you can buy this thing for 0.02 you can sell it for 0.08 um, the difference there is 0.06 you're not going to make all that in profit because you're going to get dinged um, you're going to get dinged the tax which is one so it gives you the margin there of 0.05 coins but you can do it all day long and it's going to happen really quickly so one of the ones that i did do was I don't know, let's just click rare here, because blues are in my price range. And then we're going to go ahead and just sort that by margin. So this thing, the shark here, we could pick up a shark for 300. Uh, we can sell it for 900, although there's not very many for sale. So it's probably not moving very fast. Now let's look at this one, the screamer. 13, 13, it's a little more even. We got a margin of 74 on that. So I can put in a buy order of 150. Let's see if I've got enough money for a Screamer. I've got most of my stuff right now <laughs> uh, trading. So no, let's see if we can find something for 83. In fact, I've probably maxed out my, my maximum amount of trades here. Yeah, we'll see. So I probably can't do any more trades right now because you only have so many trade slots. But you guys are getting the idea here. We're just gonna get on cross out DB. You know I mean? You don't have to use cross out DB. Okay, you can see we're actually tr we're selling a blood sucker right now. So yeah, we picked one up for 261, um, and we're gonna sell it later for for like 359. That's a hundred on one trade. So I'm gonna let that go tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and sell that off, and we're done. So most of these things are cosmetic items. You can buy them for far less than you're actually gonna sell them for. You just need to remember. Let me show you. Don't go to the Discord. Um, yeah, let's just go into my one mode parts here let's say we're looking at tires okay um, right, click on it never do buy or you can do buy and sell but like never just click the quick buy all right let's go to are we in market here all right let's just say we're looking at blue tires here so we're going to click on this thing and look at this so if you hit buy right here it's going to give you 44.89 don't pay that Look down here. You're going to bump this up one. You're going to pay 44.01. And then when you sell it, you're going to sell it for like 44.88. But that's a terrible trade, okay? Because the spread there is really bad. So if you want to do this from in game, you're going to look for something that has a decent difference between bought for, sold for, 
So what's this? The margin here, 20 is 64. Eh. There's no margin on large wheels right now. Very little margin there. Margin of eight. And then you got to deal with that 10% as well. You can see right now I'm buying calendar fragments. Those are happening right now. Like this one, hardened track. If I had 370, I could pick one of those up and then I could get, I could sell it off and I could make 43, take away 10% and not quite that much, but that's a fair spread. So, I mean, it's fairly easy once you figure out what you're doing, if you're patient, uh, to make some money. Yeah, you're going to have to go in. You're going to have to check your offers. You're going to have to bump them up sometimes because people are going to outbid you. But if you just check them in between matches, use crossoutdb.com. I mean, I'll put it in the comments. It's fairly easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I've got eight more of these to buy. Still waiting to sell this thing. Or actually waiting to buy this thing. I'm waiting to sell. No, I'm waiting to buy this one. These are both for sale. So hopefully I do sell those shortly uh, and make a little cash. So I'm going to let that go overnight. I'm going to check it in the morning and hopefully be sitting on a pile of cash. So I got one, two, three, four things for sale and a couple things we're trying to buy. So just remember guys, buy cheap, sell high, use cross out DB, look for those margins. It's really not that hard. You just need a little bit of patience because when you're doing the crafting, the profit is like four or five coins on a good craft. If you craft a purple, maybe you could make 20 or 30 coins. You can make 101 trade here. So if you want to make a little bit money easier, simply just trade. Buy it low, sell it high. So get a little bit of money here. Hold on to that money, use it, because the more money you have, the more expensive trades you can make and the more money you can make, just like real life. All right, guys, you want to see more of these, throw us a sub. If you like this one, give us a like. If you didn't like it, don't throw us a dislike. You're allowed to do that. Catch you guys all later. Mr. G out.